this is the number one reason why we've created this platform. <laughs> to be able to have moments like this where we got the governor of California <laughs> signing a bill to allow athletes in college. Let's do it, man. All right. This country we all live in was built on the principle of capitalism. I mean, capitalism meaning if you're good, yeah, if you do work, you should well. be compensated. Very good, you should be compensated. And the very better well. you are, the more compensated you are. And but Caitlin, obviously you were a student athlete, athlete student who produced an amazing piece of content. And you became a sensation, a viral sensation, and saw that video go and go and go, and now you've graduated. Then what was that feeling seeing that happen and you couldn't get? I mean, here's the fame, but then there's no compensation. It's so crazy. Like people are like, "Oh, you must be so rich," and I'm like, "You must not know the NCAA, right?" Like, what? you never heard of the NCAA, obviously. <laughs> but no one pays attention to that. Like no one understands it. So when my routine went viral, Mark um, Emmert called me to like congratulate me. I'm like, "You should be thanking me." <laughs> you also got a call from Mark Emmert. Yeah, I don't I've think he was. I don't think he was. I don't think he was congratulating you. <laughs> no. what, do you what was your call? He's trying to make sure I don't use this pen tonight. That's what he's trying to do. I mean, look, they're, they're, they're a little panicked because they recognize they're vulnerable. People are hitting this, not just in California, but all across the country because the gig's up. Billions and billions of dollars, 14 plus billion dollars goes to these universities, goes to these colleges, billion plus revenue to the NC2A themselves. And the actual product, the folks that are putting their lives on the line, putting everything on the line, uh, are getting nothing. You can only imagine of how course. they're responding to this notion of name image, likeness, and the opportunity now to do what every other student in the university can legally no, absolutely. do. Absolutely. And absolutely. it's the interesting fact, LeBron, the only people that sign away their right, the only group that signs away their right are athletes. You're challenging a system that's been entrenched in money and power um, in a certain way of thinking for a long time, which I think can resonate with a lot of people in this room. So the minute you challenge that, you're going to get a lot of blowback. And you know, I had this conversation with Coach Rama. He was like, well, if he didn't go to UConn, no one would know who you are. And I'm just like, he this guy. He said that to you? I'm like, this guy. <laughs> no, I didn't. But then, a couple months ago, I had a good friend on campus. She goes to the student union, takes a picture. What are they have hanging up there? Number three jersey. Number 10 jersey. Sue. Of course. 50, Lobo. I graduated in 2004. I mean, we're talking about 10 years later, and they're still making money off of us, which I'm sure it would upset you even more. Yeah, absolutely, and that was the big thing. Uh, I had moved on, and they were still making money off of, uh, off of my likeness. I, I enjoyed being on a video game, but they didn't ask me for it. And my friend, who I was visiting at the time, he was like, you know, we paid X amount of dollars for this, and you didn't get a penny. Sitting in my seat, I believe that it's a beginning of an educational process for the athlete if they're able to benefit from the image and likeness because they get to the highest level and they're uneducated on the business of themselves as an individual. If they're able to attain some type of compensation, it helps them understand the business aspect of it there. So then when they get to the, the NBA level of thing, it actually makes my job even easier. You know, I always tell you the reason, part of the reason why I went to the NBA is to get my mom out of the situation that she was in. I couldn't have done that if I would have stepped on a college campus. You know, uh, it could have happened a year after that, I don't know. You never know what happens in that, in that year. But I couldn't imagine, Mav, just, you know, going to a campus and, and, and doing the things that I know I would have been capable of doing there. I mean, and selling out that arena. And I, I think it. you. I think if you got paid, I think you would have went to play college basketball. It would have been I fun. So. Governor, as you've been now getting ready to sign this bill, who's been the biggest opposition? Have you had NCAA? Have you had school presidents, boosters? School presidents. Who's been calling you? Tell, tell yeah. us who's been calling no, no, this isn't, they don't even, Tell us how they, they don't them. even outsource the phone calls. What are they saying? What the hell are you doing destroying college sports? Why are you going to destroy women? And they all think this is the end of Title IX. They're saying you're destroying the purity of amateurism. Not once did they talk about the needs of these kids. Will they even listen to you? You're, will they listen to the other side? They're others? going after I sign this. And because <laughs> and that, that's the whole and, damn point. It's the power arrangement. The minute we sign this, all of a sudden, now they have to deal with California. So do you think the NCAA will actually do this? Are you ready to? I don't want to say this is checkmate, but this is a major problem for the NC2A. You obviously brought the well, bill here with you today. Man. When you put pen to paper right now, what's this going to change and what's it going to do? It's going to 
initiate dozens of other states to introduce similar legislation. And it's going to change college sports for the better by having now the interests, finally, of the athletes on par with the in interests of the institutions. Now we're rebalancing that power arrangement. All right, well, let's do it. Let's let's do you ready? Yeah, let's worse. do it, man. <laughs> All right. It's now law in California, man. Wait, this, this, is, this is the number one reason why we've created this platform. <laughs> to be able to have moments like this where we got the governor of California signing a bill to allow athletes in college. Okay, let me see what that thing looks like. Y'all see that? We got, you see that right there? That's Gov's signature right there.